evening and welcome once again to Race Around the World. In a huge show tonight, we'll be witnessing the devastation of war-torn Vukovar. With a contact given to her by a Croatian buddy in Melbourne, Claudia Rowe arrived in the devastated town of Vukovar, one of the bloodiest flashpoints of the war in the former Yugoslavia. Accustomed to seeing the war from a distance through nightly news bulletins, Claudia was overwhelmed by seeing the devastation up close. In some environments, simple things can be far from trivial. Today, since I ran out of electricity at my house, I knew I could count on the pizzeria as a food option. This is a pizzeria. A pizzeria by the Danube River. A pizzeria in Vukovar. Coming down into the, the area and seeing the destruction, it was hard to imagine that you actually had a restaurant operating, working, you know, in this type of area, which I thought was just ruins. It's just a very odd thing to be sitting there eating pizza, which generally you'd associate with better times, uh, surrounded by all these reminders of, of bad times. The Pizzeria Toran gets its name from the water tower that looms above it. This tower is a symbol to the previous residents of Vukovar. Avioni. Ma s namerom da verovatno unište nešto što je ili nekoga ko je gore bio. Oko tornja se stvorila jedna magla od prašine. I u prvom momentu pomislili smo da je vodotoranj srušen. Međutim, kada se prašina razišla, vedeli smo da on i dalje stoji kao što i staje. Za vrijeme rata, vodotoranj je bio za nas sa prostora Vukovara koji smo branitelji toga grada, koga nismo mogli obraniti zbog neke više sile. Bio je nama simbol iz jednog velikog razloga što smo mi imali ljude koji su tamo svakodnevno kad su u Srbiji posle granatiranja srušili hrvatsku zastavu, su penjali gore postavili su zastavu. I mi smo, dok god smo vidjeli zastavu na vodotvornju, znali smo da uvijek ima tamo naši ljudi i da je još uvijek grad u našim rukama. Ovo se je tukli svakodnevno da je vješao mali Ivanika. Ivica. Ivica Ivanika koji danas ne stavljaju. Mi na tom prostoru vodotvornja pravi napraviti memorialni spomenik za sve poginule i nestale. Sve poginule i nestale branitelje Hrvate. Od nema sam sada 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 sada. But what stood out were the signs of life, a wild rose bush beneath the tower, the sounds of birds singing and carpenters hammering, and a pizzeria by the Danube. And that was Claudia Rowe in Vukovar, Croatia. Sarah. I love the form of the film, that it began with symbols of life and sustenance, like food, and then it ended with the same sort of symbols of life. So it was circular, like the tower. Mm -hmm. I love the focus on the tower as a sign of resilience in the people, but also that it brought up so many stories for them. It was so evocative. Very rich metaphor, wasn't it? 
Very, very, yeah. very much so. And I thought I'd get sick of the pictures of the tower, but I didn't. They were so beautifully done. So I'm going to give it 19. 19. Mm. John. Yeah, I liked it a lot too. I, um, I thought it was really interesting how she found this pizzeria, which kind of su supposedly symbolises normality and um, placed it within the context of this destruction. I thought it was a really interesting idea. Also, just technically, I think the way she pushed the use of the camera um, was really great, you know, to kind of the swirling sort of shots that she had combined with some very static and I think quite beautiful shots, which isn't easy to do with video either. Um, I give her 18. 18. Tony? Uh, I gave it at 16. I, mean, I love the idea of pizza as a symbol of hope, I must admit. <laughs> <laughs> give me that ham and pineapple right now. Uh, but, and I also like that, the whole image of the tower and those sorts of things. I must admit, I wouldn't have minded some more of the faces, and we saw the images of the destruction, but I, I would have liked to have seen some people in there as well, but I still thought she captured great images.